Oh my god. <laughs> this feels so wrong. I'll just like start pulling and see what happens. Hi, what's up? My name is Emma, aka Midsummer Knits, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video doing knit flips. So this is an idea that I debuted on my channel quite a while ago, but I haven't made a follow-up video to it until now. Essentially what I'm referring to when I say knit flip is something that I myself have knit or made that I want to make some slight changes to so that I'm able to actually finish a piece or actually get more wear out of it. Um, and in my last video, I did this to a couple of pieces that I feel like had just been kind of sitting around for a while and waiting for me to make changes to them before I would wear them more often. In particular, I think this is a really good concept for me to address to certain pieces that I've had finished for a while or close to finished for a while and that I just haven't gotten any wear out of because of minor issues with the piece that I just haven't gotten around to fixing. And this happens a lot for me because I feel like once I get very close to the finish line of actually completing a project. It just takes a little bit more effort for me to kind of step back from the project and say, okay, this is what I want to change about this project. This is what I want to redo. Uh, I feel like when you get really, really close to being done with the project, at least for me, I tend to get into a little bit more of a kind of laser focused mode where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm about to be done with this project. I just need to like finish this bind off and it's done. And the idea of actually going back and redoing something that I'm not happy with just tends to not really cross my mind or not feel very appealing to me because I'm like, I'm about to be done with this project. Like, I just need to finish this one thing. Hey guys, editing Emma here. I just wanted to say that I ended up filming the intro to this video over the course of several hours. So you're about to experience an aggressive change in lighting. Um, sorry about that. So in today's video, I am actually only going to be doing one knit flip. I did initially plan to do two knit flips in this video. However, I tried on my second piece that I wanted to flip and I realized that I think it is just completely too far gone um, and I'm not going to be able to salvage it, which I'm really sad about. It was the crochet granny square tank top that I made around a year ago. And unfortunately, when I finished this granny square tank top, I realized that it is just too loose around my like shoulder and bust area. And I was in constant fear of having a nip slip in that top. And I legitimately never wore it outside of the house. Like I think I only wore it a couple of times to take photos and then I never wore it ever again. So unfortunately I just tried that on and I realized that because I have also had it hung up on a hanger since I finished making it, it has stretched out even more and I just don't think it's gonna be salvageable. So I'm really sad about that. Unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to like not wear that ever again or see if I can repurpose it as like a scarf or something. But I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions on ways that I can like reuse those granny squares or any ideas on what you think I can do with it. I do have an entire video of me making that top if you wanna watch. Unfortunately, I guess it did end up being kind of a fail because I just wasn't able to save that piece and I'm never gonna be able to wear it out. Um, but I do think that it was a fun process and I had a lot of fun making it, so you know. Not all losses. That being said, I do think that the other knit flip that I wanna do is a bit more of a labor intensive one. So I think it makes sense to have its own video. It is the process of saving my Moby sweater. Editing Emma again. We're gonna go back to the past really quick. So again, little lighting change. This is this really gorgeous cabled sweater that I made this year. I started it in, I think, February of this year. And then because I worked on a couple of different projects in between, I actually didn't end up finishing it until the summer. So it's just been a very long standing project. And while I do technically see it as finished, I feel like the truth is it's not really finished. There's a couple of things that I still need to do to actually kind of mark this project off as completed and be able to wear it out in public. The first thing is that it is made from the top down and both the sleeves and the body have this really nice finish that is Italian bind off. And it looks super clean, super good, except for the fact that I did the Italian bind off too tight on the body. So I already felt like I was in a place with a sweater where I was gonna have to redo something. And if you've ever done Italian bind off before and you've had to rip it out, you'll know that it is not very fun to actually rip out. So that kind of put me off from actually working on the sweater and like totally finishing it. However, on another note that like is even more unsettling is that I just feel like this project didn't really come out how I expected it to. I think this design is absolutely gorgeous um, with the different cables, the different textures. You guys might be able to see there's a slight line in the sweater around here where I switched from two different skeins of yarn and the dye lots were a little bit different, but honestly I wasn't too like disillusioned with that or anything. I was kind of like, okay, whatever. Like it's just, it really is not that visible in person. So it's not that big of a deal. However, I just feel like the fit of how this came out is not really what I expected. 
I will include some clips of, of me wearing the sweater so you guys can see what it looks like. But I thought it would be a little bit more oversized, a little bit more baggy, and it actually turned out being quite fitted. But with that being said, I did make the sweater a little bit longer and kind of like a normal size length as opposed to a cropped length because I was picturing it being more of a baggy sweater and I kind of was like, okay, I want it to be overall baggy and longer on me. Because I knit the body a bit longer, I feel like I just didn't really like the fit with the longer body and the more fitted top. I feel like if I wanted to have a more fitted top, I would have kind of leaned into the more fitted look and made it more cropped versus because I was picturing it being oversized and baggy, I wanted it to be longer. So with that being said, the change I wanna to make to this project is a little bit bigger and it's that I want to actually rip out the ribbing and a bit of the body of the sweater and then redo the ribbing and do the bind half correctly to have an overall more cropped sweater. So I did try on the sweater and I kind of marked here. I think this is where I want the body to end in general. So I do have a little bit of frogging to do and then I will have to go ahead and redo that ribbing. This one will be a little bit of a longer project in terms of completing it, but I do think it's gonna be worth it. I think it's going to actually allow me to get a bit of wear out of the sweater and use it as more of like an everyday piece versus where I am right now with the sweater is if I did go ahead and correct that bind off and you know, have it technically completed sweater, I just don't think I would really ever wear it. I think the fit would kind of be off-putting to me and I just would never reach for it. Also, this literally feels illegal, but I don't think it's the e it's worth the effort to actually pull out the Italian bind off correctly because that's going to, I'm not just gonna be able to like pull in an end and pull it out. I'll need to like use a tapestry needle or something and like pull out each individual stitch. So I think I'm just gonna cut off the bind off and then I'll start frogging. That feels really wrong to me and I don't wanna do it, but I feel like it's the best option. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Oh my God, I'm nervous. This is obviously going to cause me to lose a little bit of usable yarn, but I do have like a skein and a half less to this yarn. So I don't think that, you know, it's worth the stress of actually pulling out the bind off correctly. All right. Ah, oh my God, <laughs> this feels so wrong. Okay, the bind off is cut off and I, it feels so wrong to just like take a pair of scissors to your knitting, but I think that's honestly just gonna be the easiest way for me to proceed. So I did it and now I'm gonna start frogging. I think there's going to be a little bit of a mess because there's gonna be so many like small pieces of yarn and yarn ends, but I'll just like start pulling and see what happens. I'm definitely gonna have to vacuum after this because lots of little pieces of yarn falling on the floor, but I've got a potential end going, so I think we're good. Hi, um, so I frogged my sweater all the way to, I'm gonna start ribbing here now, and I am mildly freaking out because it looks insanely cropped, but I'm gonna trust the process and trust my own measurements and trust that it'll be okay. I think I'll rib down to like, I don't know, around here. I do want it to be pretty cropped, so just try not to freak out too much. I do think it's gonna look good. It, it is definitely gonna be a very like noticeably cropped sweater, which is like what I wanted. So I think it'll be good. I'm about to go actually to my friend's place. Her name is Say. I think her at is like paper flower knits. I will check that and put it on the screen. Uh, but I'm about to go to her place and she's hosting a little like knit night, craft night sort of thing. So I'm gonna bring this and work on it. I'm very excited. Good morning. I've been working on my ribbing on my Moby sweater for about two days now. And I currently have it at about an inch and a half of ribbing. So as you can see right here, we have about an inch and a half of ribbing and here's how it's looking. <laughs> I find it really funny that you can see this line very clearly on camera where 
I switch dye lots, but I feel like in person it's really not that obvious. Anyways, I'm gonna go try this on and we're gonna see how it's looking. If my calculations are correct, I should only have to do like a half an inch more of ribbing and then I'll do the Italian bind off and it should be a good length. But we'll see, I might decide that I want to make it a little bit less cropped, in which case I'll just do more ribbing. I hope the exposure doesn't look too bad because it is looking very dark, but call me insane, but I actually think this length is pretty cute. I really wanna be able to wear this sweater with this length of high waist pants, so like pants that come up to my belly button and have it still look like a cohesive look and um, have the sweater be like cropped and fitted to that extent. So I'm pretty happy with this length. Like I said, I am gonna knit just like in half an inch more, I think. And then I think I should be good to bind off. Like I could still change my mind for sure, but I think that this is a pretty good length and I think it looks cute. Hi, it has literally been at least a week and a half, if not two weeks since I started filming this video. So I apologize if literally everything looks different. I even got a new orange like mushroom lamp, which I have lit up right now. Um, also the lighting is super different today because it's just like super rainy and my skin looks worse. It's just like a little bit of chaos. So I will apologize that this video might not be the most cohesive. That being said, I did finish my Moby sweater, and I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. I will say throughout this video and throughout the couple of months that I spent making the Moby sweater, I think my expectations changed a lot in terms of how the sweater would turn out. As I'm sure I've mentioned a couple of times in this video, I really wanted it to be a bit more oversized, which is kind of different from my normal wardrobe. I don't really wear a lot of oversized stuff, and I was like, I kind of want to just have an oversized sweater for my wardrobe, and that is not how this sweater ended up turning out. It is a little bit oversized, I think especially on my waist, there's like a few inches of positive ease, but in terms of positive ease on the rest of the sweater, it's not super big or super oversized on me. I am pretty happy with my decision to crop it, just to lean into the more fitted look a little bit, and I think it looks really cute. I am wearing it today just with jeans, and I think that looks really cute, but I think it would also be super cute with like a skirt and tights or something where I'm just styling it a little bit cuter. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this project came out. It ended up being such a labor of love, taking multiple months and I don't even wanna know how many hours of work, uh, but I'm really happy with how it came out and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the, pro the process of me actually finishing this sweater. I hope this inspires you to go out there and finish some of your abandoned whips or abandoned almost FOs and just get them to a place where you are happier wearing them and enjoy them more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.